which looks old school. This thing looks polished. Here we go, we got the fire burning. The whole setup here is awesome to get to this gun. We're going to get the best gun in video games, the sniper rifle in Resident Evil 8. We're fighting one of the boss, one of the feminist vampires to get there. Once we get the gun, I'm taking you out onto the rooftops, one of the parts of the game that I absolutely feel shines in virtual reality. We're gonna be talking about virtual reality and the way virtual reality is the future. This is a channel dedicated to breaking the propaganda markets in America. One of them's on PSVR 2, the other one's on conservative politics. I'm the white gamer, I'm the conservative gamer good to see you let's go inside the headset we're starting in the save room resident evil 8 village in virtual reality is the crack of home entertainment we are going to get the best gun in video games it's in resident evil 8 in my opinion it's the sniper rifle and the sniper rifle did not shine in flat screen this whole game didn't shine in flat screen i'm also talking about vr in general i think the psvr 2 never got the credit it deserves PSVR 2 owners, let us know how you feel about the headset. Let us know how you feel about Resident Evil 8. I want to bring hype content, but I'm also doing a lot of talking on how I think the PSVR 2 is never marketed correctly, and that I just think it's for more people. So I got movies and television shows are dead shorts, and I, just, I got stuff for the flat screeners that haven't gone virtual yet. So I think the uh, based PSVR 2 owners, or however you want to say it, appreciate that because the headset's awesome. So this channel's for everybody. We're doing this boss fight to get uh, on the way to get to the to the gun. This has the mechanic. You pull it down. Everything's just better in virtual reality. And I'm playing on hardcore, but there's even easy. There's even easy modes if you need it. Ooh, she's close. I didn't realize she was that close. That was a bad. That was, I, that was a, where's the handle? That was a bad uh, mind placement I had. I have the movies and television shows are dead shorts and also the shorts for the flat screener who has not yet gone virtual. So if you don't know what I'm doing, pulling down the lever in Resident Evil 8 Village, you haven't played it. It's a mechanic to bring in cold air into the room to freeze out the feminist vampire daughter boss. They don't like cold air. It's in all the boss fights. In this fight, it's extra immersive with the lever and virtual reality. It really shines. The whole boss fight's awesome. I also have the cinematic cutout for you guys to make it extra, uh, just so you can tell how awesome it is. The uh, social share screen YouTube does not do virtual reality justice. Let me know in the comments if you think it looks cool, if it adds to the video. Why? Why would you do this? Ooh, she came at me. She got me. She comes at you quick if you get too close. I'm telling you, she's, she's way speedier in VR. She's harder to see, too. Pull out the flashlight, she's easier to see, but then you only got the one uh, one hand on the gun. I don't want to get too close again. I don't like healing in the middle of the battle. I think it ruins the tension. That was, was not a headshot. Ooh, two headshots. Ah, we need to make some ammo. I missed her. I gotta make some uh, pistol ammo. I don't think I'm gonna use it, but let me, let me make a heal just in case. Or just to have it. Dual wield in VR. I had just had enough time since my last hit that I had just enough auto heal. I didn't die. That was nice. I was trying to get too fancy with the dual wield. Maybe I blocked it. I did a decent job blocking it. Blocked a little damage. See her better. I killed her. I killed her with the bayonetta. So this thing does do something. That was awesome. I jabbed her over the thing. So cool. The 
The Bayonetta thing sucks on flat screen. The guns are just better in VR in general. It's so awesome. This thing looks awesome. Ooh, I almost forgot about that. Good thing it was beeping. Let's grab the items and then go get this gun, baby. And gun ammo looks awesome. You'll see my crazy thumbnails up in the background again. I'm the conservative gamer. Red pill news if you need it. Now that no, something no, else no. happened, I got a new video about it with Trump and the elections coming up. We're just hype content moving forward. Uh, maybe some cultural stuff, but I have the red pill content. Resident Evil, President Evil if you need it. I got Mother Miranda as the boss uh, Kamala Harris in this, in this series. Guys, check it out. It's awesome. Leave a like for Ethan Winters, a true hero. Special outro for the true gamers. Yeah, pump this bad boy as many times as you want. You don't use up ammo unless you actually fire the shot. Lock this. Grab the mask. Beautiful. Now we go through here. Boom. Got a little puzzle real quick. If you haven't played the game, you want to skip ahead, that's fine. Because I had a really fun time actually playing this puzzle for the first time and not knowing exactly what to do. It's five bells. Let the five bells of the chamber ring, ring out. Now, one thing that I do have a problem with is I feel, ooh, I feel that when I do this, I have my iron sights on the bell. I have it on the top of the bell still knocks the chandelier back before I can get the bell. And then when you go through the window, the first one breaks the glass. And the second one does the bell. I think the bullet would travel through the glass and hit the bell. Like, you kind of get both done with one bullet. But I don't know. If the glass was thick enough, maybe you stop the bullet. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think if it would stop the bullet or not. They should have designed it where you can just fire the one bullet and get there. If, I'm, if that's the most immersion-breaking thing to me in Resident Evil 8, virtual reality, you know the game's immersive. Wondering if the, the glass physics are good if I should add to fire one bullet or two bullets. Awesome. Green herb. So this just feels, everything feels awesome. I really feel like I'm going through a little torture chamber right here. So everything just really shines and stands out. I never owned a PSVR 1. I'm new to VR on the PSVR 2. I've never gotten to play Resident Evil 7 Virtual Reality. Let me know if you've played that in the comments. That would be... I heard that was life-changing. Resident Evil 8 is life-changing. Here we are. I think this item's kind of sneaky if you don't know it's there. Shotgun shells, a treasure map. Yeah, boy. All right, so I don't know if you can see it yet. Big and tall and beautiful over there, the sniper rifle. We got this guy's gonna pop up on us. So I got a little flabbergasted. I actually had put the, I stabbed him with the bayonet and I went to put the shotgun away to go get the pistol because I have more pistol ammo than shotgun ammo. And I accidentally grabbed the shotgun again just because I was a little flustered. Here we go. We got the fire burning. The whole setup here is awesome to get to this gun. Coming here. Everything is so good. There she is. Looks huge. F2 rifle. There she is. We're about to pick her up. Pick up the super sexy sniper rifle in virtual reality. If you like me already, you want to help bring integrity back to the gaming space and help take video games into the future. Subscribe to the channel. Support a small YouTuber. If you don't like me yet, wait till the outro. We'll talk about it again.
show you how big this thing is. The scope is the same. Ooh, I got a little blood on the nozzle. The scope is the same side. The scope is bigger than the freaking handgun. This thing absolutely looks gigantic in VR. It's huge. It just looks old school. This thing looks polished. This part of the game absolutely shines when you come out here. Everything is absolutely gorgeous in VR. This is one of my favorite parts of the game, actually. Right? You get the rifle. That's why I did the video on it. And then you walk out here, and it's just... It's kind of similar to that first scene, right? When you get into the beginning of the village. And then... Yeah, the bolt thing feels good. It's not like RE4 and like the Pavlov tackle game where you snap it in and you gotta flick your wrist a little bit. It's just you push in and it flicks it in automatically. Leave a like for the virtual reality guns special outro, don't forget. So we're in hardcore, so I go for the headshots. I feel like if I get a body shot, sometimes they don't die and I gotta put a, put a couple pistol bullets in them. So yeah, the rooftops or whatever this part of the game is called. It's just everything feels enormous. Gotta remember, we're Ethan Winters. We are saving the day here. Got him with the rifle. Got him with the shoddy. Still not dead? I, still, I was a little ways away when I got him with the shotgun, so it wasn't wasn't super close range. Is probably why. Cool. Yeah, I got him right before he jumped off. He's not dead though. We got one uh, sniper rifle bullet left. Stay down, buddy. Damn. So good, the dual wielding and just going for the, for the different guns in VR feels awesome. We'll finish up with an elevator ride right there, which looks cool. Let's go check this spot out, man. VR gun tilt, baby. Did I pick up this guy's, uh... We got him. There we go. Is he down? Is he dead? Yeah. Out of, uh, sniper. Waited too long. He got me. I waited too long. Not a death. Not a death, though. He got me. Taking some damage on this run. That's all right. There's another gemstone right up here. I remembered this because I actually played this recently just to check it out when I rode down this little line which were a zip line we're about to go down seen it sparkling over there it's meant to have you see it even the pottery looks awesome Ooh, sniper rifle ammo stairs look awesome everything looks so good you haven't played PSVR 2, you're missing out. Flat screen's pretty good right now. There's a couple VR games coming out that I'm looking forward to. 
PC adapter is finally available, but I haven't been able to get it. So replaying Resident Evil 8 is always a superb idea. Oof. Look at her shine. Look at her shine. So got more sniper rifle ammo now. I like how you could just boom, 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 boom. Gigantic. Right. We got the last last mask and then Okay. I should be able to get out with these. When we go back to the front of the uh game, front of the castle, we can put the masks on and then we get to the boss. We get da dagger of flowers. We get to fight Lady D as a boss, which is awesome. I always think this elevator looks really cool. They use this elevator in a couple parts of the game. It just has a really nice feel. The flashlight mechanic is awesome. So I'm pretty sure this is scripted. Lady D's gonna pop out at, out at us. You gotta move quick. We can run by her and we'll go, go say what's up to the Duke. Daughters that we fight as bosses. Stupid man thing. Special outro for the true gamers, the true Americans, and the people that want to get there. I've been making patriotic PSVR 2 content for a while. A sneak peek at the boss who we're going to play. This vampire lady that just chased us down is uh, a demon. She turns into a demon. Most of you have played the game. If you haven't played the game, I'm going to spoil it a little bit. It's an awesome boss fight, but I use this boss fight in a video talking about Moist Critical making comments about... Uh, transgender stuff i'm not a politician i'm not perfect the guy sneeko he was debating with if you don't pay attention to culture news and whatnot isn't isn't the best either the point is is that society is being destroyed by people who are centrist dick riders and people who don't have the backbone to stand up for american values and people who are too stupid to realize that american values benefit them even if they don't live a traditionally conservative lifestyle you're going to see cackling kamala harris sell us out to this propaganda that people's rights are under attack if you're tired of your brainwashed neighbors who have it the greatest they could possibly have it in america being america last and being degenerate sellouts virtual reality is a great way to support your values and avoid the brainwashed people in the public while also saving your wallet and your mind we're saving american values inside virtual reality here's a preview of that video go back and check it out it's my personal recommendation from this video the thumbnail is called demonic and the title is penguin zero loves trans demons and joe biden if you're butt hurt by that you don't want to take video games into the future thank you for watching the whole video try to level up your gamer brain based americans we're taking the headset and virtual reality into the future it's the better way to game we're starting the entertainment renaissance the virtual revolution of 2024 and 2025 we're taking america virtual like comment subscribe to save virtual reality save gamer brains save america and save american entertainment stay tuned for a second secret outro on ethan winters being one of the last true american heroes in gaming linking you to the most crack virtual reality content you've ever seen made with love handcrafted for you barley or moist critical is a symptom of the bigger problem which is wokeness joe biden is wokeness we're taking a look at the biden administration and the world to try to save people from becoming like moist critical the opening ceremony at the paris olympics sparked major controversy if you've already seen this stay tuned this is a response channel this is unbelievable it's clown reality out there these are the mommies and daddies of the world that joe biden and kamala harris want and these are the mommies and daddies of the world that moist critical wants making decisions for their children and their genitalia and then this creepy winged unicorn angel thing let me know if it looks familiar in a second let me know if you know the game that this boss is from this stuff is wild it's all blasphemy it's all an attack on america it's all propaganda we're gonna get into it in a second 
they want to prop up the demons and the freaks in regular reality. I'm saving American values inside virtual reality, inside the headset, inside the action. People are triggered by my content, but this stuff going on in the world just proves to me that I'm right. We need to save traditional values, not just in America, but in the UK, around the world. We're getting into it. They're trying to sell us out. You want a taste of my content? I'm the YouTuber who Activision didn't want to work with to upgrade their virtue signal about the pride bullets in Call of Duty to take it next level to really help people role play as a trans mass shooter if they wanted to. Activision shut me down. Guys, here's the thumbnail though. Give me a like if you think it's funny. Give me a comment. Help me get the video to Greater America. Hi everyone, it's Kamala Harris. Each day we are seeing our rights and freedoms under attack including the right of everyone to be who they are, love who they love, openly and with pride. So as we fight back against these attacks, let's all remember, no one is alone. We are all in this together, and your vote is your power. If you're a proud Donald Trump supporter, a proud gamer for Trump, leave a like, subscribe to the America First virtual reality and PlayStation gaming community, especially if you're tired of people like Moist Critical not telling their fans that PlayStation and the government is selling them out to elitist propaganda, giving them woke garbage like Concord and trying to trans your kids. And people are getting away with it because of brain dead people like Moist Critical not even knowing they're shilling for the fucking elitist corporate. I'm the video game player. It's going to tell you the truth. America and PlayStation are selling us out. Like, comment, subscribe to level up your gamer brain. Over here, Ethan Winters, no more heroes mode because they're selling out our true American heroes inside regular reality. Go into virtual reality, play as Ethan Winters, get the information about Ethan. Even if you don't play video games, you just know movies and TV shows are dead. The other option is Leon S. Kennedy. Five things only possible inside virtual reality. Spoiler alert, one of them saving American values inside the headset, inside the action. Subscribe to go into the future of fun multiplayer community at 500 subscribers. So the people that want it, check out the saving American values in virtual reality. Can you get more information? Guys, good to see you.